Coming in. <laughs> There's one cow. One cow. Being an idiot. If you try to eat me in a couple weeks, I'm gonna be pissed, just so you know. Hey, hey, good morning. We have a, I don't know, like regular day ahead of us, I guess, normal chores. Um, but unfortunately we have not, we did not freeze last night. So with that, um, the mud is getting worse. So we are going to set gates and then hopefully I'll coax the cows in later tonight when I do chores. It's gonna be just me, mom and dad are going on a little trip for their birthdays which is good um and the cows actually should be even calmer with just one person especially me because I kind of just I'm always out there messing around so for them they're gonna be like oh it's nothing instead of being like oh my gosh it's a trap there's like three people here watching us so uh we'll see what happens but come along for all the fun Great job, Sterling. That'll work. Hey, folks. As you can see, we're not freezing at night now. Um, and it's not foggy and muddy, and we just, we gotta get them out. Especially with rain, the forecast coming up in the next five-ish days. So, um, getting this set up, and then later today, I will open it up once everyone's done eating and give the cows the alleyway, like the first two pens, and then the second pen has fresh bedding. So hopefully they all come in. They're mostly really, really, really chill cows. Most of them are OG cows from before expansion, so they are very tame. Um, but we don't need them in this anymore, and it's just a mess, so. All right, gates are set, chores are done. I am going home for a little while. We'll see what happens tonight. Uh, they should hopefully go in, but it might be one of those things where there's a handful that just don't, but we'll see what happens. Uh, they'll have fresh bedding. So that pen too is fresh, fresh, fresh bedding. It is it was just cleaned, like barely anybody's been in there. They'll be very excited for it. And then they can have the alleyway, all of that jazz. So fingers crossed they want to come in, but we'll see what happens. So here we go. So normally we'd have cows out there for a while yet. Usually we're pulling them off the cornfield because they're going to calf, not because it's mud. Uh, so it's just really weird, to be honest, to have this much mud. This time of year, it's just really weird. So um, we just don't want compaction, hardcore in the field. We don't want them full of mud. We don't want their udders full of mud because that is not good for calves trying to find an udder to nurse or a teat. Um, if it's covered in mud, they're going to be like, oh, I don't like that. So that's where we're at. I mean, they can be like a little bit muddy, but if they get that like thick mud, you know, when you get like things thawing and you have fresh black dirt and they just like makes your feet heavy because there's so much, that's what that mud's doing out there. And I don't want them to just end up with a hundred pounds of caked on mud out there. But that's the method of the madness. We just also don't want compaction in the field because if you get it bad enough, like there'd be a couple acres of the field that could just not grow really anything. And then that's a ding. So <sighs> it's just a different year. It's a different year, a different year. Last year, we could have kept them out there all year. It was just too cold to camp out there. So, what a time to be alive. Which is strange. They weren't kidding when they said the year was going to be warmer. They were not kidding about that. Coming in. <laughs> yeah, they are. Easy, girls. Easy, girls. to come in but there's a couple that just don't trust me so we'll go watch from inside <laughs> window's nice and dirty but you know you get the point as long as they don't shut the gate on themselves dum-dums go around the gate dinkies <laughs> there's one cow one cow being an idiot what an idiot. 
one dum dum. What are you doing? One dum dum. All right, I had to walk one in. I walked down, they're used to me. I fed him in the bunk, I was just acting like I was throwing her feet. Walked over and just walked her around and in, and they are locked in the barn. So, it means mom and I can sort all the fun tomorrow. There are some bags out here though, so that is exciting. Yeehaw, I guess. <laughs> oh, it feels good. They're much used to like, hi, Lynn. Are used to very specific people, so I am gonna find Miss Chunky Monkey and put her in with the heifers right away just because I saw her bag and it's there. So, we also have them in the pen that needs to be cleaned yet, so they can make a mess of it and it's gotta be hauled, so it'd be it. <laughs> They're not even that mad, they're all like, Oh, it's so nice in here versus the mud. What a time to be alive! Good girls. I got Treppy sorted off. I don't even know where she is right now. Somewhere. She's the one that got stuck in the chute because she was too fat. Not stuck in the chute, stuck in the alleyway. Thought we had to pop the alleyway out. But she's in here now. So, might as well. I was like, ah, one last cow. Fine. The cows are all like, okay. Now I understand and they're not happy, but they'd be fine. Go, babies, go. Nathan's trying to wrangle a goat. You get it? Yep. <laughs> Are you good? You got a little bit left. He's <laughs> got the little sneezes. I am glad that I got the cows in a little bit earlier this afternoon because it's just foggy and damp and gross outside. So now we're just doing chores, getting everybody fed all the things. Yeah. Checking everybody over for the night. Like I said, cows are locked in. Glad I got it done early. Who is here? I've been getting some questions about what Nathan does during the day because he's never in my videos. We're still married and everyone's like, oh, what happened? Allegedly. No. Rude. I just don't work on the farm every day. What do you do? Shoe horses. Yeah, that's what he does on a daily. He also doesn't like love being in my videos, as you can see. But that's why you don't see him on a daily basis. You see him every once in a while, and it's usually... For doing something. Yeah, or he's being sassy. Yeah. Like the cow when 30 tried to get you and I got that on camera, or helping us and stuff. He's around, we just... I'm just not He honest. does other stuff and doesn't... Isn't he's in the here. shop if I'm here. Yeah, does random stuff, so. Trying to get him to do some more videos, but we'll see camera makes me shy. Barrier stuff will be fun. There's enough people doing that. <laughs> so anyways, we're good. Nathan's alive and well. I just have been getting I'm DMs. Alive. I don't know how well I Okay, am. whatever. But we're checking heifers. They are two weeks away now. So bags, life, all the things. What do you think of them? They look good. There's four of them and I know that are ours. Go us. Blue tags. All right, chores are done. Got anything else you want to add? I'm sick of this mud. <laughs> But it's better than snow. I didn't wear the proper footwear. Well, it's better than what you usually wear, but still. You said this mud is better than snow? Absolutely. Ugh. Not this time of year. No thanks. I gotta put the bottles away in the little bottle. Alright. Okay. Alright, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Maybe Nathan will be there. I don't know, maybe. Probably not.